No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Hey guys, this is Andy at No Film School. We're here with Roy at Schneider Optics talking about a new 18mm lens in their Xenon line. Now for folks who aren't familiar with uh, the Xenon line, can you give us a brief overview of that lens system? Well sure, uh, full frame means that it's going to cover the full frame imager like you'd find on a Canon 5D, Nikon D800, or like on this camera, the Red Dragon. The uh, full frame uh, imagers are really uh, coming more mainstream into the market today and our full frame lenses are the only full set that we're aware of that will cover uh, everything from 18 up to 100 millimeters. Uh, we'll be coming out with a 135 sometime next year to complete the 7 lens set. Now this lens is a T2.4 which means that it's the speed of the lens or the iris and to our knowledge this is the fastest full frame prime lens on the market today at T2.4. Now all of these lenses are the same physical size, the same physical length and that makes your matte box and follow focus setup uh, very easy. These lenses are slightly warmer than some of the other lenses on the market and what that will do is give you a more film-like look. Some people say it gives the lens a little personality. And these are purpose-built lenses, meaning that they're not rehoused photo lenses like some of the other lenses in the market. They're, the optics were rebuilt from the ground up. The, the optics were designed from the ground up, and the uh, housings were all built very ruggedly to withstand the production environment. Now, all but the 18 have a usable 95 millimeter thread, which will allow you to put in a, a clear filter or an ND right under the camera to keep your uh, package very lightweight. These lenses are also very similar in weight. So if you're flying on a, on a Movi or a steady cam, steady cam, then you're not having to rebalance the system all the time as well. These lenses are on average 2.6 pounds. So it's, it's very lightweight for the quality of lens that you're getting. And as I mentioned, we're going to have uh, the 135. So we have 18, 25, 35, 50, 75, uh, 100, and then the 135 will be following later on. Uh, what is the price and release for this one? Yeah, the the uh, 18 or is going to list around $6,300. The 25 is $5,750, and the 35 through the 100 are $3,995. However, for the next two months, we're running a special three lens set. You get a 5% additional discount. A four lens set, you get a 7% additional discount, and you get a free lens case. Of the five lens set, you get an additional 9% discount. So it's really a great value. Uh, what are the lens mounts available? Uh, you can get this in, in Canon EF, PL, Sony E-mount, or Nikon. And it's interchangeable, so you can do it yourself. While we always recommend that it be done on a lens facility, you can change it on your kitchen table. And uh, you mentioned this particular lens being the fastest full frame. Prime lens, yes. Uh, you know, the distinction between a prime lens and a zoom lens is that it's a fixed focal length. So this is a very wide lens at, at 18 and full frame. This is the CDM 100. Uh, this motor will come with a 40 and a 60 millimeter diameter gear. Now, why two gears? Well, with a 40 millimeter, that's going to be for your prime lenses. It's a smaller diameter. For the zoom lenses, you're going to want a larger diameter uh, gear so it's not traveling so far and it'll be a faster operation on a large diameter lens. Now this uses a 7-pin LIMO uh, connector, so this is compatible with any other uh, system on the market that's a digital system that uses a 7-pin LIMO. And the reverse is true as well, so that the Crozial system is also compatible with any other motor on the market. Now you mentioned this was uh, the new lightweight motor, so this yeah. was made for new applications specifically. Yeah, exactly. So for the like the Movi rigs or the drones, these motors are very lightweight. You can orient the motor uh, forward and back in the cradle, and it'll work on both 15 and 19 millimeter rods without any additional adapters. Everything comes with right out of the box. Does it have any any sacrifices made in torque or its abilities to make it lightweight? 
Well, um, that's going to be true of any smaller motor. If you have a really stiff lens, then you're going to need to go with a higher torque motor like a Hayden. But on our, like our uh, Cine Xenar lenses or Xenon lenses, any of the DSLR lenses, CP2s, this is uh, more than adequate. So it's going to give you very accurate repeatability and focus control in both the uh, focus and the iris. And what's the price and release for this? The price list price is around twelve hundred dollars. So it's very affordably uh, priced with all the uh, competitors' products. But uh, I think you'll find it has a little higher higher torque specifications and reliability as well. It's all made in Germany. Love German engineering. Uh, did you say when the release would be or when it would be in rental houses? It's currently out now. And uh, there's been a very few rental houses across the country. Uh, that have made the investment, uh, but it's it just came out about two months ago. So we're expecting that to uh, grow, and a lot more rental houses adopt this system as well.